Hello and welcome to another update video about the S&P 500. If you've been following for the last few weeks, then you know that the overall forecast, um, which was for lower prices, has come true. And um, we had three resistance boxes, or you could say trend reversal boxes, that were followed through, and which is really, which is really good. And now we are really coming to a point where we are going to see a decision that could happen in the next couple of weeks, I suppose. And if you missed previous videos, just a reminder that we are really at a major, major decision point. It is possible that a larger degree third wave finished here in December 21. That the move down into October 22 was only a so yeah, an A wave, the first wave of a larger ABC structure. This move up here into the August highs or July August highs was just a B wave. And that next we're coming down in a C wave. And that could take it down to, yeah, you know, 2,500 points maybe. One, two, three, four, five. Now, and here's the thing. It could be that this is only an, another larger A wave. Then we get another larger B wave afterwards and then a C wave down. Now that can take years to play out, okay? So this is certainly, I'm not saying this will happen, but this is the risk that's around the corner. If we now see one larger wave down, we have five waves down of the high. We're going to zoom in in a minute, but we would basically have one, two, three, four, five. If I see five waves down below support, which is at $4,188, and then a corrective pullback, that's a short signal in my opinion, and it can send the market down significantly. This is exactly the decision that will play out, you know, probably in the next few weeks. For me, it's like, okay, I focus short term still on higher because the short term trend isn't broken. But with five waves down, it will be broken. And that's what we're exactly going to pay a lot of attention to in the coming days and weeks. In a more bullish scenario, the wave three never finished here in 2021. It's actually up there. And the move down was a smaller degree, degree fourth wave. And um, yeah, we are now in a fifth wave to the upside. One, two, three, four, five. Could send us up to maybe 5,400, 5,500 points. But then after that, this larger correction should unfold. Okay, so this is exactly what we are focusing at the moment. Uh, I think that correction is going to happen at any point, at any, at any, not at any time, but it is going to happen anyway. But the thing is, when, okay? And um, it, it is just this yellow box where this decision is going to play out. And that's the box we are dealing with right now. Um, so I am going to zoom in now. Short term, I am focused on the orange wave count, but I want to call out the risk of the white wave count. And, you know, if someone says, oh, you know, I can't imagine this crash will happen. I mean, just look at the world. <laughs> just just look at what's going on in the world. I mean, it's not a polit political um this is not a political channel, but there is enough stuff in the world that could uh, call, be a catalyst for this white wave count to the downside to play out. Honestly, there is enough. Um, no, uh, not that I hope it will play out, you know, but this kind of correction will happen. It will happen anyway. It's just that, okay, do we get that new all time high first and then come down or do we come down straight away? Of course, I would prefer a nice year end rally. I would prefer the orange wave count. And this is the wave count that we've been dealing with in the last few weeks. I mean, I'm very happy with that. Worked out pretty well. We had the three resistance areas here that were adhered to and followed. Um, we came down off the high in an A wave, B wave. Yeah, and now this one, two, three, four, five. Maybe the wave four is already in. And then we already started um, here, the five wave moved down. And I mean, I'm not too worried about, look, if it, if it comes briefly, below the 50% retracement level at $4,188. Uh, it's not a problem, okay? I wouldn't be so worried about it because it would still only be a three-wave move down, A, B, C. I'd like to avoid it, but if it's a brief break and then it takes off in an impulse, that's fine. But if we see a break below the support and A, B, C, yeah, and it makes another corrective move up and another impulsive move down, look, then we have five waves down and then it's the white wave one. And then we, I'm going to be watching for a short uh, corrective rally. Yeah, and that would also be a short trade opportunity. Or, 
and that's preferred. Well, I hope it because I want I want a yen rally. Um, we we just make this uh, one more low here. Ideally, it don't break support. We see a small impulse to the upside and a small correction, and that's a long trade opportunity because then we have some clarity that this move down is over, and that we're turning around and rally in a fifth wave to round about five thousand five hundred dollars. So that's sort of the decision point and. It's a major, major inflection point. For the last few weeks, we've been waiting for prices to come down into this region. Uh, I have to say, though, that this third wave was pretty much extended, overextended. I remember in the last video, I gave you this resistance area here and highlighted to you. It is very likely that we get this fourth wave pullback now, corrective rally. And now we could see here one more, one more five wave move to the downside. Um, and I mean, I can give you... I mean, again, is Circle Wave 4 already finished or not? I think that's the question for next week. It can certainly still extend higher. And as long as it doesn't stretch above 4,370, um, I would expect another low. So it's basically from here the following. If we see five waves up from here and three waves down, so one, two, three, four, five, and three waves down, the low is likely in. Okay, and I will focus on new all-time highs. If we make one more low here and then see five waves up three waves down i think the low is in and i will focus on your all-time highs but if we see yeah this low corrective rally another five wave move down then i will assume we are going to go to let's say two thousand five hundred dollars then we should get a corrective rally and then this is the major short signal so this is absolute key. I hope you understand the relevance of this uh, current inflection point here. I think next week or so, maybe not too much is going to happen. Well, it's sort of getting towards the end of this breakdown. This is this is where I would already think, okay, a low could be in, um, but where in an ideal world, here we get one more to, to fill in the five waves of the C wave. Yeah, that's my update about the S&P 500. I hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And uh, yeah, hopefully you like the update and enjoy the rest of your Sunday and have a great start to the week. Bye-bye.